The system with work permits is fully messed in, in Vietnam. It's uh, like a little bit like slavery. Because if you sign for one place to work, you're like slaves, sign there forever. Uh, you and can be native, but you can be a bad teacher. Okay. You don't know how to explain. You know that we speak all the life like this from, bo from birth. Yes. But why we speak like this? You cannot explain these rules because you don't know them. I don't advise anyone coming. To come into Vietnam? I don't advise. Why? Because... Guys, if you've enjoyed this video so far, please do me a huge favor and hit the like button and subscribe. These videos take quite a long time to make, so if you could help me out, I'll love you forever. Thank you all for your support. Now let's get back to this crazy story. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet Again. you too. So, can you tell us about yourself? I'm from Ukraine. Ukraine? Okay. Yes, I'm Ukraine nationality. The people in Asia call me Damon most. I'm a teacher by my diploma. Okay. So, in my diploma it's mentioned that I'm a teacher of English and I'm a specialist of English okay. literature and like this. Wow. So, but it happened like I graduated from 1999. Wow. It means like huge... That's a long time. Yeah. Did you find it difficult settling in? I have nothing to compare to say it was it difficult or not because I came here it's like first country when I started oh, teaching actually. Okay. Uh, the first experience of teaching was like uh, after graduation when I had some uh, uh, teaching experience, teaching practice at schools. Mm. So the last uh, several years of university they send us to teach at uh, high schools in Ukraine yeah. and I had some experience of like teaching them so but it was long time ago I, I forgot everything and I had to start from the beginning so first I watched a lot of videos how people do here then I tried different styles of the, because here are different uh, educational systems so we have uh, private schools we have public schools we have centers centers uh, international whatever, school Montessori's yeah some centers are by embassies some mm -hmm. centers are like it's like a huge a business mixture. like it was in China before mm -hmm. as I heard but now it can goes on in Vietnam and it still continues even they restricted the rules still it's going on and uh, it depends on where you are working yeah because some people are taking only part-time work mm -hmm. they teach uh, randomly in some schools and yeah. they don't know the students very well yes. they're coming like uh, occasion yes okay then uh, there are some centers where teachers are working for full time and then sometimes they uh, come every day there or sometimes they even stay in the school and live in the school foreign teachers okay. and another style is that local teachers versus foreign teachers it's also two different styles local teachers they go on with their styles like a little bit army style a little bit this uh, how to say socialist mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and then the foreign uh, teachers comes yeah, in once foreign as they have once absolutely every day. different style at, at all and that's why they take them like to share different attitudes okay mostly they take foreigners not for teaching exactly yeah maybe to set some pronunciation wow but, yeah yeah but mostly it's like for showing them different styles of behavior mm -hmm. or for not being shy or being more open this is the most reason i think so wow. my, my idea but also english is important of course. Wow. okay now let's say um for you how do you do you also find kids going after you like where i teach kids will be coming after me like they rarely see somebody with a dark skin but you look fair like them only like you are not a vietnamese uh, do you also find them following you and stuff yes yes they are interested they are curious mm -hmm. in different people in my, many provinces they have never seen the foreigners at all mm -hmm. and that's why even uh, not even children even grown-ups in the local uh, villages in the everyday life they will be like showing some um, increased curiosity yes. increased yes. interest okay uh, you can find this in many countries like in Africa I live there yeah, sure you can find the same style because but it's not because of like um, uneducated level or something yeah. no it's, it's yeah. because of like pure natural curiosity yeah. that's why they don't know or the rules of our behavior mm -hmm. that it's sure. not impolite it's impolite to do like this is sure. they live like here like this here they like their traditions this is different you have to to match a little bit to to their traditions is teaching in vietnam is it worth it is it worth the your time in vietnam uh what time does it take i mean you? i mean um 
salary equating salary to your work that you do in Vietnam as a teacher is it worth it yes yes I think that uh, my 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 incomes are fine for me now okay they're comparable for my incomes in uh, other countries before okay you think uh, so, your income here is better than your income in other places that you work yeah I think they are nearly the same or like comparable but uh, what I do really like here that I have a lot of free time okay I don't have to work uh, like a uh, fixed salary I don't have to work from morning to evening like coming and no like routine like this also teaching is like a challenge every day you imagine some games you try to be active you try to be interesting you try to be fun you try to not to be boring like you become if you become like an office worker you know okay usually okay. doesn't right. depend on your levels like this and that's why it's like a little bit different style different mm -hmm. work for over seven years in vietnam are you married in vietnam yes i managed to marry here can you tell us the story of how you got married in vietnam mm, my wife uh, she also ran the kindergarten okay yeah and uh, that's why we by by chance we met and uh, it's like actually a little bit interesting story because uh, i was working for one school and we were making like demo classes outside to attract more visitors to attract more schools and we made like demo classes for public schools where teachers and from centers from different schools they came together and my wife was among one of those teachers young teachers who uh, wanted to open something like her own business okay she knew nothing about this teaching and about like uh, and she wanted to, to grab some new ideas from these demo classes from with okay. foreigner okay. and she saw me there and she agreed with my school with uh, managers of my school that I give some classes in her kindergarten it was new it was fresh okay. and she was only starting and that was the first time we met I gave some classes like one hour in week we met not so often and we like slowly but slowly each other and I stayed in that house forever oh. <laughs> after that we like I, I never worked for my wife actually because she is keeping uh, our kindergarten her kindergarten is very huge. busy yeah. it's huge she's busy but uh, it's mostly nursery mm -hmm. and I prefer working with uh, a bit a bit, a bit yeah, with okay uh, more advanced English like so this. you have kids how many kids yes uh, we have two kids right we no, have two uh, daughters okay uh, what is the experience I mean married to a Vietnamese uh, I, I, I wish to be married to a Vietnamese one day because I think they are beautiful but I, I don't know how it pans out like how, how, how is it what should I expect it depends uh, on mostly people not on the nation as usual okay because you can find anyone matching you in any country but um, of course marriage like usually it's also a complicated thing it means like rubbing rubbing to each other uh, in the beginning everything seems so beautiful and easy and like no not so difficult but then in time some new problems appear like okay. some everyday problems okay. with finances with children with some organizational things and life becomes more challenging you start becoming like more tired of this sometimes relations nearly break it, it doesn't depend on Vietnamese on okay. the name Vietnamese. so meaning it's general yeah actually I passed through this before I got I, I was divorced in my previous life several times okay. and uh, I was looking for the new for the new partner for the final partner of my life I'm not young enough like to to, to spread mm. you know that's why I was thinking longer and looking longer and I had some experience bad experience and I was thinking what I do really need in this life mm. and you think you needed this I think so yes now okay. I value my relationships and I like try to keep them even if something goes wrong I try to fix everything okay all right that's nice maybe I will, I will, I will learn from you so Demon, um, you have been here for seven years or more what is the difference between that old Vietnam that you came to meet that time and this new Vietnam? Old Vietnam existed for me personally in the books mostly, in the same information. Before coming you were reading this Vietnam-American War, mm -hmm. 
um, rice, conical heads, and that's mostly what you understand about and selling, selling that all the uh, countries looks like a market. And that's mostly what generally people know about exactly so, so 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 when we are coming to vietnam me from my place vietnam is known for rice so when you say you are traveling to vietnam or you're going to work they're like are you going to bring import rice <laughs> <laughs> is it the same in your place or is right. different yeah yeah people like we had some vietnamese community in my city even okay yeah uh, like several hundred thousands yeah it's big community and um they work in the markets, they sell something and people general thinking that all Vietnamese are sellers. Yeah. They are selling, buying and that's all. But if you start living in the country, you meet different people from different social levels, uh, doing absolutely, you can meet some IT yeah. guys, you can meet some like interesting guys, absolutely far from teaching and far from, from these things. Yeah. So it, it means like where you live, where do you live? For me it's a little bit mm, tricky to live here because uh, I don't speak Vietnamese. That's why um, it's very difficult for me to learn it because it's tonical and ton tonal language mm -hmm. and I, I cannot, uh, my hearing, musical, I have zero. Maybe you haven't and traveled why, to yeah. Cambodia. When you travel to Cambodia or Thailand, that's when you realize that Oh, Vietnamese is easy. I thought Vietnamese was very difficult until I traveled to Thailand and Cambodia. You can't even read the alphabet. They don't have the alphabet at all. Thai, I've been to Thailand, but um, I, yeah, maybe Thailand. But uh, they have three tones or mm. two tones. Mm. And Vietnamese have seven, yeah. more than Chinese. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, and I and uh, like uh, to end the story that uh, I'm living in the suburbs. Yeah, I'm living in the countryside, like mm -hmm. you yeah. said before. And it's like uh, not so far from the city, but I I don't often go there at all. I have nothing to do there. You want to go there? I, when you have I've something. got my small town here. Yeah. And everything you need from the big city you can find You can here. find it here, exactly. And that's why. And by nature, I'm like an introverted person. I okay. like peace. Reserved. I like quiet, mm -hmm. peaceful. And I prefer spending time mostly with uh, like one, two, three people uh, among my like family, among my very close friends. But I don't spend my attention to others. Okay. That's why I could survive here like long time without friends, without like talking and communicating every day, socializing every day. Yeah. I don't need it much and that's why I can. But others, I, I don't think so. Because okay. I met some people, foreigners even living in the busy, busty uh, city, downtown Hanoi. Yeah. And in one, two months they say that it's not life for me. It's difficult, it's like uh, very different from what I live in other yeah. cities. Yes, there are some differences, yeah. It's so, an Asian difference, so, so specific Asian difference here. Let, let's look at them um, teaching English in uh, when you came at first, 2017 and 2024. You go out and you hear that. I was reading an article recently that, that they were saying that, that Vietnam is now difficult. Even the, 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 the native speakers, it's difficult for them to find work. Some say that you can't find jobs here. Some say that things are getting difficult. Can you take us through the difference between what the then 2017 Vietnam and the current 2024 20, Vietnam? Some changes, okay. Change, uh, one of the change was that um, for me it was a good change. Okay. That I don't need uh, to to like register like the uh, work permits. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because the system with work permits is fully messed in, in Vietnam. Uh, it's like a little bit like slavery because if you sign for one place to work you're like slave sign there forever and if they make work permit for you they make only for one place and it's costy yeah it, uh, takes you a lot of time to do that and sometimes it has no sense at all because you're running running uh, like to do some document and then you stop working with them in one month and why you were doing this running and now you need go to another place and you, and you have to start, start all over the beginning and that made me a little bit like uh, a little bit tired all the time and they made a uh, some change on the level of the laws of but, the but i'm coming but the, the work permit still exists it's still there permits. yeah they still do it if they still do it yeah. but, but you, you don't do it because you are married yes, right yes, so you have yes. five years uh, yes you, you don't have to do work permits but you can still work 
Yes, yes, I, I'm registering my visa, my stay, like this, per, uh, stay permit, mm -hmm. yeah, residence mm -hmm. permit. Mm -hmm. This is separate, but I'm doing this from my family part. Okay. I'm not connected to my works, you okay. know. And uh, the law now gives me the right to work without work permit. Okay. It means my marriage certificate works like my work permit. It wow. means the government understood that if foreigners staying here, having a residence card, everything fine, he doesn't need to spend so much money, like not to kill interest in him. Okay. Working like this to a little bit like, you know. So Paris. that is one advantage of getting married in Vietnam. Yeah, for foreigners, it's like a good advantage that okay. you can easily, much e more easily work here. Mm, 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 mm. Because you don't, yeah, you can omit many, many registrations. Many of this. Okay. So there were some changes in educational system uh, during COVID, during the many, many like, but quite to talk, I, I, I don't remember. Okay, all right. Else. All right, now let, let's talk about, um, working now last time i was reading an article and in the article it was featured that vietnam is now very difficult for foreigners and um, two americans one from the uk they were complaining that some live in the ho chi minh some live in hanoi they were saying um they are now paying less others said that um they are now it's now very difficult find a job in hanoi city and ho chi minh city do you have an idea of that um as I told you before, I have I don't go often to Hanoi. I don't. That's why I don't know the system and the situation with all the schools there. Okay. Maybe it happens there, but it's because of the competition. All mm -hmm. the foreigners concentrating in this downtown. Yeah. They like to hang around. They like to have fun after work. They are not ready to live like me, like in isolation, like far away without friends. That's why. That's why they complain. I see. But as for me, if you live far away and there is not big competition with other foreigners, I never like complain for lack of work. Uh, all the schools always need me, want me. Or maybe it depends also on your qualification also and your, on your style of teaching. Because there are many, uh, many like so-called teachers who are not teachers at all. They're coming here because they have the story that teaching is easy. Mm -hmm. You have to be like looking a little bit different from Vietnamese and you can mm -hmm. find, easily find the job. And they think that this is the basic your skill here needed, but it's not. And when they start teaching, they become bored of this teaching. You should be dedicated to this teaching. Yeah. You should be loving this. You should yeah. have uh, joy. Yeah. Enjoy yourself teaching the kids. from this. For example, I get bored sitting all the time. Uh, in free time like at home mm -hmm. and when I go work I I always have like good feeling that uh, I am having some fun I am having some small party there I'm going for teaching like to uh, to hang around with kids I'm not thinking that I'm going and I need to make this lesson and like to make it faster you feel good teaching them if you come in with this feeling for class uh, that to to pass it fast and go home mm -hmm. it means that all your classes will be boring and they the children they can feel it immediately from the your mood they can they can count and calculate easily okay all right now let's talk about um, some of the changes made by the government now in recent time there's been a lot of changes um, some of them you mentioned other ones um, has to do with them now if you are a foreigner another introduction in Vietnam is that you you all if you have a, a, a if you want to transact money with your e-bank you have to go and make some biometrics if you don't do that you can transfer more than 10 million uh, do, do you know that uh, i've got uh, an account in the local bank but i don't know the story i can okay say anything okay about this. okay and, and 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 one more thing is that um uh, now they were bringing some changes i don't know may, maybe because you are married it may not affect you <laughs> Maybe, uh, you are lucky. That's you are lucky. <laughs> the another, another changes um, that uh, was also re um, introduced recently was that um, if you are a teacher, now in addition to your work permit, your TLC, your C1, you are also supposed to do um, a TEFL, which was being proposed by the government, and we're saying that that is going to make you understand the Vietnamese culture and how it has been played. I heard about this, about this TEFL. And, and other changes that um, some may not even have been announced. 
and some foreigners are saying that uh, this is that, like, like this is itching that is making them itch because you turn here there is this you turn here there is that and even the rate has gone down what do you make of all of this mm, uh, my my suggestion my ideas about this that people think a little bit too much uh, how to organize their life forever and for forever for, for long for long term period but it never happens like this for example i had a teacher i had a friend he was a teacher from uh, africa by the way mm -hmm. he was from nigeria okay and he was a good teacher he was a great great teacher i like he was my neighbor okay and also uh, and we were discussing a lot of things about teaching and that time he was also complaining me all these issues what you told me like like right now and he told me that time back five years ago mm -hmm. that everything goes wrong uh, government making like strict uh, uh, like the, all the same all the same and he was so worried about this every time we met he was, he was talking about, it. about these issues and I was never thinking about, even about this even we lived in the same house and mm. we're living uh, work mm. doing the same job okay and then he got so so like uh, anxious about all this story that mm -hmm. he bought the ticket and went to Europe and he found some uh, Poland girl and got married and now he's living in some village in Poland I don't know what is he doing here uh, there I call him sometimes like last time a long time ago but it means that it happened five years ago mm -hmm. and all his life changed already he forgot about this teaching you mm -hmm. see but foreigners continue complaining the same issues like he was complaining mm -hmm. it means take this moment of this moment and if something like you don't like totally everything change totally everything and go to another place and try from the beginning mm -hmm. or continue but uh, don't fix upon some ideas that something is wrong you know okay foreigners they live in hanoi in big cities like in communes mm -hmm. this is the um, weak weakness of this um, socializing okay because they don't spread the ideas among locals they don't communicate too much with locals mm -hmm. they like come to the ghettos mm -hmm. and they uh, circulate this all one and the same ideas which look nearly the same among this community of several thousands of people you know and these ideas they mutate and actually there are three like main, main basic ideas which with many many hundreds of variations if you come to any chat you will see it you yeah. will notice i i deleted myself from all these community chats okay from this you know di 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 diaspora di diaspora um i don't i don't communicate with like my natives because wife. of because of uh some of these ideas try, that is spread i try to communicate with people who believe they are like uh, citizens of the world mm -hmm. who saw a lot who lived everywhere and who can think a little bit free not like coming and like uh, digging in their own like small problems that, that, that is to say that <laughs> i mean there are problems everywhere uh, yeah. and once you keep a positive mind you can survive in vietnam yeah right right for example uh i had some issues like with my work sometimes it happens like with administration and i, I used to come home and and complaining sometimes to my wife that happens this that happened that during this class and after some time she told me every every day happens like this every day we don't need to to pay attention on mm -hmm. these small things mm -hmm. if something really bad happens in the school you just finish there and we will find another place and wow. so when will happen we will discuss this in future why would do we need to discuss this every day daily it's like so wow. funny man that, that's that, that, that's a, that, that's that's so great I better mean. to concentrate on more interesting things you know like family like fun like uh, education of own children something like this all right that's great pets <laughs> uh, yeah pets i see you have two dogs I mean, and two rabbits. Wow, that's <laughs> and great. And two daughters. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's too great. Okay, Damon, one more thing. Um, one more thing. I, I Sometimes we are on our, our social media platforms, our I mean, uh, expert social media platforms. People are discussing. Why are people from America, why are people are from um, Europe, Germany, you know, these countries are touted to be well-to-do countries. Why are they all coming to Vietnam? You move here, you see this American, you move here, you see this European. Cheaper. Tell me, what's the secret? Cheaper. cheaper. Vietnam is cheaper. Of course it's cheaper. If you, if you 
uh, compare how much you, uh, you spend in Europe, how much you spend in America, how much you spend here, of course it's different, different. They get maybe, <coughs> the incomes maybe uh, are on the same or even less level, like downshifting for them, for many. But if you compare how much you spend every day, of course your income grows immediately. Mm -hmm. I met, uh, I, I also I had a neighbor in one another house and he were uh, two brothers from America, from New York. Yeah. Two fat, fatty brothers. <laughs> they like eating all the time. And they also were, I asked them, why New York? I had some, I have still now, still mm -hmm. now I have some friends in New York living there. Mm -hmm. And, um, and this guy is also from New York. And we discussed this New York a little bit. And I, why? Some people come to the New York, they, they are ready to sell their soul to come to this New York. Wow. <laughs> they also don't understand why people come to New York. To be beggar, but only to say I'm a New Yorker beggar. You wow. Know? <laughs> and they said, no, we're not like this. We were born in New York, we're New Yorkers, but for us, of course, it's better to eat here as much as I want. Like to spend three times less, uh, less money for this food than in this New York and also for rent the same like huge they told like people think they get a lot of money in america mm -hmm. but mostly they spent most of the mo biggest part of this incomes they spent for living okay for commendations for renting for food for everything and if you can collect how much you've got left every month it's not much it's not much. meaning in vietnam that's why people know this the people not silly they ca can calculate these calculations and they come here where they can get and spend less. I see. Mm, so those of you wondering, that is an, uh, the answer to that. And uh, one more thing, you have worked with uh, some uh, people with black skin before, you worked with the Nigerian... I worked with international companies before and okay. people from around the world. From so what, 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 what do you make of uh, non-native teachers? What do you make of them? Uh, According to the travel categorization, we have native speakers and non-native speakers native wow. speakers are those who speak english as a first language like america it's UK, very Canada. individual it's very individual man uh you can be native but you can be a bad teacher okay you don't know how to explain you know that we speak all the life like this from both from birth yes but why we speak like this you cannot explain these rules because you don't know them you know and uh you should be a linguist, you should have some basic, at least basic knowledge, even for, for kindergarten schools. I'm not saying, uh, not mentioning even the high schools. Mm. That you have a need to have a good, uh, basic, profound knowledge of yeah. grammar, of yeah. connections, of linguism, of linguistics. Because not many of many uh, really true certified teachers here, even among natives. <laughs> That's why they're making wow. these rules. That's why wow. they want to sort them out from here. You know, all these uh, uh, tourists, all these uh, experts who call themselves teachers, but they're not teachers. That's that's why they don't let them teach. I see. I, I, I think that's smart from government. Nothing to complain about this. Maybe it's bad from uh, foreigners who cannot get easy job, but uh, it's better for country because uh, what happened before looked in the look. Just look, have a look at this education uh in the beginning like seven years ago like you asked me what was in the beginning it was like mess everyone coming here for one month visa one two one month tourist visa three months and they're all teachers here all teachers some from any countries who cannot even speak english they speak like five ten words uh, pigeon English and they uh, they I am a teacher I am 18 years old teacher from uh, Bulgaria my god knowing nothing how to speak you know it's, uh, it made me laugh and, uh, but it's not laugh but it, it's sad for the country because I I uh, like to I try to think deeper mm. I, I always try and I uh, encourage my students and other friends like not to think a little bit shallow if you think deeper, you understand what is good for country, what is good for foreigners. Everyone gets some profit from this, you know. Yeah. Nothing yeah. can be done that perfect system, like perfect system of education. It doesn't even exist. In Finland. Mm. Oh, Finland. Is in Finland. My heart soul. I see. One of the best in the world. Finland. Wow. Wow. What, what do you also say about um, people who also put out that 
there's um, ESL teaching in Vietnam. Is 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 for a showcase. I mean, there is nothing in there. It's like um, people open the centers with the so so uh, that's not making money, and the only showcase the teachers they have pays them here and there. They don't even they more three teachers, blah blah blah. We also think on that. That is just a showcase. There is nothing good in there. Mm, I don't know who, who says this, but it's also around. I mean, people I thinking that. I mean, ESL here is just a showcase, just showing what they've got, making money, and that's. I don't know. Yeah, you have an experience that. Why? Right. Okay, what do you have for somebody who is still planning of coming to Vietnam? Any advice for such a person? Uh, for coming or for not coming? For coming, for coming, for coming. I don't advise anyone coming to come into Vietnam. I don't advise. Why? Because I'm not the man who is sharing the good things among everyone. <laughs> if I have something good, I try to keep it for myself. Uh, when I look uh, when some advertising, some promotional on some YouTube, on some Instagram, like people, natives, not natives, they calling calling more and more people but what you're trying to do you're trying to make the same system like it was five years ago when okay. a lot of unqualified teachers hanging around here why are you calling them i understand that they because you problems. because because you said a lot of good things about working and teaching i here. think they've got some who are doing this they've got some profits from uh, from doing this promotion i think so because otherwise if you have everything fine if you have like good income, you have a good place of work, what makes you calling somebody to, to come and to make a competition <laughs> and like this? I don't understand. I, every time I see this, come here, everything fine, everything perfect. And I, why you come? Stay there. So you have my <laughs> Stay there. Have a, have a, Holy shit. Have a look at our video. <laughs> Oh man. Share good things with <laughs> close friends. With close friends, with, yeah, uh, your yeah, family. Yeah. yeah, so Damien is a don't come don't come here. There's nothing good here. <laughs> don't, 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 don't. All right, so Damien, <laughs> how can somebody stay safe in Vietnam? Stay safe, safe. in Vietnam. Yes. Safe. safe. Um in Vietnam Vietnam is the country where people come together. Mm. It's uh, really, really difficult to stay by your own. Okay. It's difficult to be independent traveler or independent like expert like me. That's why mm, here it's easier when people really come here like this to find some groups. Mm -hmm. For example, groups of experts who are teaching, groups of your natives like Hank. Um, yeah, try to find some group of interest. And then, then from this group, in, from the beginning, it helps you to understand the things from the beginning, then you can investigate them and explore them by it. yourself. Okay. But for the being when you don't know anything, just watch, look, listen, understand, make your own conclusions and go on. What's All right. Um, finally, finally, you, you seem to have a, a very great knowledge about teaching ESL. I don't know about ESL. If I'm first time I'm trying to learn how to teach ESL, can you just one minute take me through how to teach a kid? Yes, so, yes, okay. Teaching a kid, you have, uh, for example, we have a traditional way of teaching, mm -hmm. like in public schools in Vietnam, for example, and we have no traditional ESL teaching, like mostly in this, uh, private centers. Mm -hmm. So, uh, the traditional way of teaching is like usual when people listen, like in lecture style. People listen to the students, listen to the teacher, then they ask the question, they make some communication. Mm -hmm. But in SL, the most focus is on uh, communication. Okay. They don't believe that uh, you need to have the basic knowledge of theory in the beginning, that mm -hmm. you need to make people, students from the beginning, tired, get tired of this uh, mess of knowledge. You need to switch them inside the English into English immediately okay. by communication. Communication means mostly games, singing, dancing like this. So from from beginning, to, you need to make people doing something, children doing something, liking you and participate in some activities. And on the way, you're giving them some knowledge of English, mm -hmm. some uh, some phrases, some easy words, like some songs. And like this, they start talking. Like this, this is different style. You need to come and have a look at some 
classes, it's better to show than to, to tell a long time. Well, you know, just be funny, be easy, uh, don't be afraid, kids, make everything uh, to show them that you're not scary, mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. that they shouldn't be like I'm afraid, afraid of, of you. you. Yeah. Be their friends. I, for example, my idea, I can give this very simple idea, but not many people use it. Behave with a kid of any level. Mm -hmm. like he Bring to their level. level. Okay. Like, doesn't matter he's 3 years old or 13 years old or 23 years old. Speak to them like I'm talking to you now. The same and he understands and appreciates it very much. In, in the beginning, from the beginning. And he starts like picking it and wanting more from this communication from wow us. wow thank you so much for You're speaking welcome, to us it's anytime. been it's, it's been great speaking to damien here i think and i believe that we're going to tap into the knowledge and i think um very soon i'll try to see if I, I can also make uh, five years or six years by finding a beautiful wife in vietnam here guys it's a wrap for today thanks for being with us bye Thank mm -hmm. you.